RVA Sports Network live at the Times Dispatch Invitational Tournament. Girls semifinal, and for the first time ever, <laughs> the Glen Allen Jaguars are going to be in Tuesday night's championship game. Danielle Weldon to my left, Julia Fritz to my right. Ladies, congratulations. Thank you. What a second half performance. You were up a good part of the first half, then you got down at intermission. Danielle, take me into the locker room at halftime. What did Coach Watson have to say? Coach Watson basically said that we can beat them. He basically helped us progress more in the game. He was pumped up, so we were pumped up. We were ready for them in the second half. Julia, you had some fantastic defense in the paint, especially second half, working against the 6'3", Tyra Whitehead. What's your game plan down there when you give up so much size? Uh, I think I go after the ball more than the person because, you know, you don't want to foul. And so, like, you know, going after the ball I think really helps, like, not, like, you – <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand. And, and with each, I think they started this third quarter with like four consecutive turnovers. Right. Mm -hmm. With each one of those, that has to boost your confidence, Every correct? Time. Every yeah, time. definitely. Okay, now you get number one Highland Springs in the championship game Tuesday, and you've already faced them once. Right. What do you do to change things up so maybe you can knock off the Springers and take home the TDIT title? Our defense and our press break. Our press break has to be on point in our man-to-man um, -man defense. We have to work harder on that. Well, if you put in a, a – I'm going to say this again. If you put in 32 minutes Tuesday like you did the final 16 here this yeah. evening, it's going to be a very good day at the Siegel Center. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Danielle, Julia, Glenn Allen, winners over defending 6A state champion Cosby tonight in the semifinals, 50-34. to 34. Congratulations. Thank you.